Hi guys, welcome to Sean Watson Davis TV. Thanks so much for tuning in. If you would, please hit the subscribe button, the like button, drop a heart for me in comments. And if you would, share this video right now, please, if you would do that, I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much. I am excited to have here with me today, Ernie Cabule. Ernie is a member of Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated, and he is in charge of this year's 50th anniversary scholarship ball entitled The Days of Old Gold. Ernie, thank you so much for being with me today. Well, thank you for having me. We are excited to hear all about this. 50 years is nothing to sneeze at. Um, so if you would tell us all about when, where it's going to kick off, what's going to be going on, give us some details. Okay. Uh, once again, thank you for having me and allowing this opportunity. Uh, Kappa Delta Lambda Chapter of Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity is sponsoring our 50th anniversary ball. It's entitled The Days of Old Gold. It's for our 50th anniversary and scholarship ball because the proceeds from this ball go to fund scholarships. The ball itself will be held on June the 4th at Eagle Eye Golf Club in uh, DeWitt, Michigan. The times are from 6 until 12 p.m. Get there early for best selection, of course. Okay. It's a formal ball, it's a formal attire. Uh, we want to make it a grand ball because it celebrates our 50th. Also, coming out of the COVID era, this is the first time we've really had a chance to do something special and for everyone to get together. So, we invite you to come out and join us and, and ask about more information. Thank you. Awesome. So, that again is Saturday, June the 4th uh, at Eagle Eye Golf Club from 6 to 12 p.m. The attire is formal. And I heard you're having a band, is that correct? Yes, we have national recording artists, a local band, 496 West, my favorite band. Mm -hmm. And also we have a DJ, DJ Butcher, to keep things moving along. Excellent. And so tell us more about the fraternity, Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity. <laughs> <laughs> tell where, us more about it. Where do I begin? It. Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated was founded in December 4th, 1906 at Cornell University in Ithaca, New York. Uh, since then, it has expanded all over the world. Um, I crossed at Zeta Beta chapter at Ferris State and now belong to Kappa Delta Lambda chapter here in Lansing. We pride ourselves on community service and being the first about doing everything, and our, our record shows it. We, we plan on offering five scholarships, five $1,000 scholarships. Whoa, that's excellent. Which is why we are encouraging you to attend or at least become a sponsor. Fantastic. Do you all have activities to raise money along the way or how do people go about donating to these scholarships? Uh, we ask that you contact the KDL Foundation. They can give you more information specifically or contact me personally. Our tickets are available through Eventbrite. Search for Lansing Alphas and that'll take you right to the page where our ticket sales are. And Ernie, for those who would like to contact you personally, are you on Facebook? Yes, I'm on Facebook. And Messenger? Yes. Okay, under the name of Ernie? Ernest Cabule. Ernest Cabule, and Cabule is spelled? C-A-B-U-L-E. Excellent. In terms of contacting the KDL Foundation, it... Um, we have our own page, um, Lansing Alphas. Okay, so Lansing Alphas on Facebook. Right. Okay, beautiful. Well, I understand that we have some famous Alphas in Lansing. Is that correct? We've had a number of uh, famous people in the Lansing area. Uh, Dr. William Harrison was one of the founders of the chapter. Uh, Dick Letts, for whom the Letts Center is named, was one of our members. Uh, Brother Don Coleman, whose name is on the Ring of Honor at Stratton Sp Stadium, is one of the founders of our chapter. Uh, John James, a uh, perennial gubernatorial candidate or Senate candidate, is also one of our brothers. Wow, that is awesome. Well, 
the alphas are known for their community involvement um tell us about some of the activities that the brothers have been involved in over the years well one of the basic tenets of our organization is first of all Servants of all, we shall transcend all. Service is our key word because we believe in service to the community. We're involved with the uh, mobile food pantry. Some of our national programs include Big Brothers, Big Sisters, uh, the March of Dimes. We have our own programs. Uh, a hopeless people is a voteless people. And also go to high school, go to college. We encourage our youth, the young people to go to college to get an education. We stress education above almost everything else because that's the key to the world. Absolutely. As you know, Ernie, I have written a book series titled 101 Conversational Questions. You and your lovely wife have been supportive and made a supportive purchase of the series right. and i thank you so much for sure. that and i am hopeful and encouraging of the use of this series in relationship building um, all relationships really but you mentioned big brothers big sisters and you mentioned the alpha esquires and those are programs and connections that you all are making with young people. Correct. And the books are well suited to those programs. So I hope you agree with me that the brothers of Alpha Phi Alpha should indeed make a purchase of these books and implement these books in their relationship building with the young people that they're involved with and in fact, in the raising of their children, any and all relationships could use the enhancement and different ways in which we approach connecting with one another and developing social skills of the young people that we're involved with. Would well, you agree? Oh, absolutely. So Clarity of communications is vital in interpersonal relationships. The clearer that you can communicate, you can avoid more confusion and needless conflict. So okay. therefore, clear communication is important. Um, text language doesn't always lend the information that you need to get across. So we, we like to have verbal, clear verbal communications, unlike what I'm doing right now. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing just fine. And we want to celebrate you, Ernie, in that you are a COVID survivor yes i am Thank a you. covid survivor you were in the hospital for over 90 days and spent another three months or so rehabilitating at home right. um, for you to have taken this leadership role to lead the way to celebrate the 50th anniversary of your chapter of alpha phi alpha is a phenomenal victory, a phenomenal celebration of your survival <laughs> and well-being. And so, hey, we applaud you and appreciate you so much. And you really are an inspiration to me and an inspiration to everyone who knows and loves you and who are hearing this for the first time during this interview. So some people don't know that you're a COVID survivor. And tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, so um, everything that you've heard about long haul COVID, I have been blessed with, unfortunately. Uh, short term memory loss is, is extremely frustrating because when you know that you know what you know, but you can't access that information when you want to, is extremely frustrating. Yes, but um, I survived COVID um, by the grace of God, definitely. Mm -hmm. um, I'm living proof that prayer works. The faith of a mustard seed is all that you need to survive. Absolutely. 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 Glory be to absolutely. God. They, they, they called my family twice and said that I wasn't going to make it. I had a different opinion. I said, I, I can't be dying. I got things to do. Dying ain't one of them. Amen. And uh, I've been rewarded with the uh, confidence of the brothers of our chapter that they've uh, made me the director for the ball. So. I appreciate this opportunity to welcome you to attend their ball. Absolutely. Thank you so very much. I agree. And so, again, if you would please hit the subscribe button, the like button, 
drop a heart in comments and share this video and let everyone know about the upcoming ball that is being spearheaded by a COVID survivor, a COVID champion. And again, the dates of the ball are Saturday, June 4th at Eagle Eye Golf Club in DeWitt from 6 to 12 p.m. Formal attire, the band is going to be there, the DJ is going to be there, and we want everyone to be there. And how much are the tickets, Ernie? Sure. <laughs> well, as befitting the 50th ball, the tickets are $100 a piece. Okay, and tickets they're, are. They're available on Eventbrite. Search for Lansing Alphas, and it'll take you directly to the site to purchase them. Perfect. Well done. Thanks so much, everyone, for tuning in. Thank you for having me. Absolutely.